What's up everyone, it's Rifle here, and thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 nuking experiment. Previously we tried nuking all of the unmarked closed fisher sites. This was highly recommended from the community in the past to see whether or not maybe we could open these closed fisher sites up. Sadly, that was not the case. Nothing interesting happened whatsoever. But at least we now know. Who knows? Maybe in the future these could be used for something particular. As for now, they're just curiosities in the landscape. This episode, however, was chain reacted from another previous episode. We are experimenting to see if we were able to survive a nuclear explosion while being inside Pulowski's preservation shelter. And it turns out we were not able to. But a lot of recommendations was saying to find a refrigerator because we know Billy the Kid managed to survive while being in one. In case you don't know who Billy the Kid is, as you can see, here he is in Fallout 4. I want out. Is someone in there? Let me out. I'm just looking for the mayonnaise. Maybe you could grab it for me. Second shelf, right next to the pudding. That's not funny. That's not funny at all. What kind of horrible person would say that to a kid stuck in a refrigerator? Besides, I ate the pudding a long time ago. Let me open the door for you. Yes, it's been so long. The door is stuck. You're going to have to shoot it off. Uh, my legs are so stiff. Every, uh, really bright out. I haven't seen the sun in so long. Hey, Billy. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, what's the story with you and that fridge? It happened so long ago, back before everything got wrecked. When I heard the sirens, I tried to find someplace safe. When everything started to shake and fall apart, I just crawled inside. When it got quiet again, I tried to get out, but there isn't a handle on the inside. I just want to go home. Can you help me? Please? But yeah, I could not find a refrigerator that I could actually fit in. Most of them just had shelves where, you know, I wasn't able to get inside them. But I did think about a portable toilet. That is something else like a capsule of some sort that we're able to go in. I know trying to survive a nuke inside the Pulaski's preservation shelter was a fail, but I just thought, you know what? These are all over the wasteland. It'd be crazy if it turns out we are able to survive a nuke explosion while being inside these. Like we had protection all along, all around the wasteland. And after all, these portable toilets are the elevators to get out of the nuke silo after you set off a nuke. As you can see here, you run through this tunnel system, and eventually at the end of the tunnel system, you'll see that you have to press this button that's on the wall of the portable toilet. And this will take you back up to the surface. Sadly though, once you go to the surface, you're not able to go back down. And I can understand why Bethesda chose us not to be able to, because then nuking would just be extremely easy. Like you would literally just have to press this button, then go press a few other buttons take out a few robots, and bada bing bada boom, you're launching a nuke if you got a nuclear key card. And that would just chain react all. Oh, man, we would be seeing nuclear explosions everywhere, non-stop. But yeah, I know there was some curiosity out there about these mysterious buttons being in these portable toilets, and well, that's what they are. They are elevators down to the nuke silo. At least three of them are. If you find them elsewhere, I mean, I don't know what that leads to. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what happens when we're inside these when the area is nuked. I'm gonna be going into the one where we exit the launch silo. So the nuke is basically just gonna be coming out and dropping right back down where it came out of. Attention, attention. Launch sequence activated. Launch tube will seal in 30 seconds. All personnel should exit the launch tube immediately.
I'm not gonna lie, at first, it was looking like I was surviving that. But, nope. I will say, right now, it seems like we don't have many places that we are able to go to to survive a nuke explosion. But it would be cool of Bethesda to add some things where we could run to to survive a nuclear blast if it is going off. I mean, I feel like that would just make the nuclear experience more thrilling. Because you're just in this little capsule waiting for the nuclear blast to go off. Because sometimes, you know, you may not be able to make it out of the radius. And one of these capsules that are around the map could be able to help you survive. I mean, who knows? Maybe in a future update, we'll have some refrigerators to hide in. If you do know of any, by the way, feel free to leave the location of it down below in the comments. As far as my knowledge, I have not found any refrigerators that we are able to fully fit in. But yeah, that's right wrapping up this video, everybody. Just thought I'd make this for some fun and also to explain what those mysterious buttons are and also to debunk more theories that go around the Fallout 76 community. I'm out of here. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Until next time, peace.